Welcome to my channel Living Linux. I managed to build OBS Studio with BradOS on my Raja Rock 5B. And on the website of the OBS project, they do have the build instructions, but it's available for Debian and it's available for Red Hat and for Fedora, OpenSUSE, but it's not available for Arch, or at least the instructions are not available for Arch. And one of the problems is, is that the package names, um, they can be different between different distributions. So I also found this website, but this one is from 2021. And yeah, I think this is outdated. I mean, like that's not, of course, not the fault of the author of this article, but it's also a warning that, um, yeah, for people that might find this video in the future, that perhaps by the time you find this video, that also my information is outdated. But I do hope in the future that we actually um, can build it directly from the AUR, something like that, or perhaps that the instructions uh, that they do get maintained uh, by the OBS project uh, for Arch. Um, so after a couple of days, I managed to build it. And this weekend I thought like, well, I'll try it with a clean image. And unfortunately I wasn't able to remember everything exactly. So yeah, it was a frustrating weekend, but in the end I did manage to build it from a clean image. So if I go through my history, uh, this is how you do a system update. And after that, I uh, installed the packages base devel, CMake, yay, uh, well, Chromium is not really necessary, but I like to use Chromium. And I also built the PAMAC because I like to have a GUI, uh, but also this is not really necessary for building OBS. Um, here you have the packages that you can install with Pacman. So, and Loman JSON, LuaJIT, SWIG, VLC, 1VPL, ACO, SNIO, RTMP dump, and Qt6 SVG. And actually, they say that you can build it just with Qt5, but um, yeah, that didn't work for me. Uh, I also tried it with this parameter, but I always ended up with some error uh, about some Q mouse event, function position not available, something like that. Actually cost me a lot of time. And well, at least for me, I'm only able to build it with Qt6. So um, the next three packages you need to install with something like yay. So websocket pp git, lib data channel, and lib wrist. Um, yeah, I think it's a good idea just to reboot before you start building OBS. Um, so this is the command to get the source code. It's also here. Then you can CD into the directory. You can create a build directory and then you need to go into that build directory. And then the CMake commands. Now I disabled some more stuff because I had some problems with it. So 
uh, as you can see here, I disabled WebRTC, Deklink, and QSV11. Um, because QSV11 it is also dependent on something else. Uh, I think it's the word list, something like that. And it just, I wasn't able to get it installed. So that's why I disabled these three things. And after that, you can make and make install. So uh, I already did this. And then you end up with OBS Studio Portable directory. So we can go into that one, go to pin. We have the 64 bit. And we can open the terminal. Yep, here it goes. So in theory, all you have to do is just start it like this. But then you get the error that your GPU may not be supported or your graphics drivers may need to be updated. It's actually uh, a problem with the OpenGL version. So we spoof OpenGL 3.3. And now it is able to start. Uh, it will take a while before it actually starts. Um, and to be honest, because it's already Sunday evening, I didn't have much time to test a lot of things. So I'm only going to show you that it actually starts and that you can do a screen capture. So you can see that here. So I defined a screen capture. So here, um, yeah, you can just click on this one and then it's just, uh, okay. It's not really that complicated. Um, yeah, I need to configure some more stuff like the microphone and let's I have to test, uh, if it's powerful enough to do some recording in 1080p. Uh, but as I said, it's already Sunday evening. So, um, yeah, this whole installation this took the whole weekend for me. So, but I hope that other people that if they want to use OBS studio on arm arch, that at least you know that it is possible. Um, like I said, I still have to test a lot of things, but at least we have a start. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.